portfolios. Absolutely. Welcome yeah. back. Thank and you. And a happy new year. And how'd you get through last week? It was, a, it was a busy week. I'll tell you, I got a lot of phone calls last week. We had, like I said, gyrations. I think that's the best word you can use. We had some uh, downturns in the 700 range, then some upturns that was up 1,000 at one point and still ended up well. And so it's a new week, I guess. Absolutely. And, and so let's look at what we got. You so got some advice. What we're really t stressing to people is make sure that it's what you're looking at is relevant. You know, a lot of people track the S&P 500. They track the Dow Jones. Uh, but your portfolio may not necessarily be the S&P 500. Uh, most people's portfolio is going to have a mix of bonds, it'll have a mix of international, it'll have a mix of other things in there, cash, gold, things like that, which if you're just tracking the S&P 500 or the Dow, may not necessarily reflect how your actual portfolio is so doing. So we heard the market went up seven, 800 points in a day, yay for everyone, but maybe not for you if you have stocks somewhere else? Right, absolutely, yeah. Or uh, you know, when the markets are going down, if you have a little bit of bonds, well yeah, the market's going down, but that's not going to affect the bond side of your portfolio or the cash side. So always try to make sure that you're looking at your holistic portfolio, making sure it's the relevant uh, portion of that is relevant to the news. And that's just one of the R's that you're rec recommending yes. here. <laughs> now, how's that? What else do you have? Uh, realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, we always stress to people, everybody would love to have really high returns with very low risk. 25% every year. Absolutely. That'd be great. Yeah, with no risk at all, right? None, none whatsoever. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, that's not terribly realistic. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to have the high risk to get the high return, but that can lead to those wild swings where you're down seven, eight hundred points. Uh, and, and depending on where you are in your life span, if you are near retirement, you might not be able to afford a big drop all at once. Absolutely. So you want to reg regularly review your portfolio, make sure you're sitting down with a financial advisor or working on your own, but making sure you're looking at it and reviewing it on a regular basis. Uh, take into account market swings, take into account your risk tolerance, uh, take into account international geopolitical moves. You know, last year was a, the U.S. stock market didn't do great, but internationally, a whole lot worse. It's so. as you all from Edward Jones come every week and we talk about this, a lot of folks it might kind of go over their heads or they may say this doesn't concern me, but I think we're all much more aware of what is going on on Wall Street these days. And, oh. and so I hope some of these tips are, are hitting home a little bit more. Now you have reviewed then is the other one. Yes. Yeah. So make sure you're reviewing with, it, with an advisor or at least reviewing your portfolio on your own if you choose to work on your own, uh, but taking into account all the different things, you know, your risk tolerance, your age. Uh, someone who's high risk who's 70 is still going to have a different portfolio than someone who's high risk who's 25. Now, you, you know. tell us not to look at these every day or else we get scared, uh, but, but how often should we be reviewing? I think review on a monthly basis, uh, you know, just kind of keep track, make sure there's nothing, no big surprises in your portfolio, um, and then, you know, sit down and, and make changes when it looks appropriate. All right, Josh Royton.